Welcome to day two of our interactive hardcore let's play. We've had so many build and mod suggestions and most of them have been added to the pack already. Head down below if you want to snatch up the new mod pack link. All right, we are in world. I would love to get started on some build suggestions that you guys have given me. But more importantly, I have received an insult to my buildcraft piping knowledge. So apparently, Mason P13, this has a one quarter chance of the item going the wrong way and getting thrown out onto the ground, which is a problem with buildcraft. If you do things wrong, you will have items just thrown everywhere all over your entire world. But this build is actually, apart from being terrible, will work perfectly. The idea is that, yeah, kind of, there would be a one in four chance of an item instead of going up into the loop, left into the loop, right into the storage system, that it would go down, hit something, and then explode the item out of the system. Not actually how it works. If the item can't go into here because the buildcraft quarry has no inventory, this part of the pipe basically has a pipe plug on it. It cannot go that way. It'll always go into the system. In fact, this storage system we have built can hold an infinite amount of items. Theoretically. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, if every single one of these chests were filled, the items would instead go, nope, there's no space, won't get thrown on the ground, and would either pass along to the next part of the system or head back into the loop, come back, repeat forever. But that's the thing. We've got a loop on this side. We've got a loop on this side. So once all of these are plugged, all we have is an infinite loopy loop, a straight line, and an infinite loopy loop, which can hold infinite items. Until the frame rate, you know, goes down to one frame per second and then the world is just destroyed. But technically, perfect system, die in a fire, Mason. Let's continue onwards. Now, of course, there's a very simple way to prove this, and it's something we have to do regardless. This system, this quarry, clearly needs so much more power. So first things first, we're gonna need so many pistons. Let's just, uh... Sure, that many. That many is fine. Yes, yeah, does mean that we're gonna have basically no materials left for... Well, anything else. But, grand scheme, she'll be right. Oh, we actually need a little bit more cobble, so hopefully the quarry has given us... A tiny amount, but it will be enough. Alright, Sterling Engines. We can get an extra three? Really? Just... Just three. We're not limited by cobblestone, are we? Oh no, just more gears. Which is technically, yes. Yes, we are limited by cobblestone. I may not have thought this plan completely through, but uh, it should be okay. We'll just grab a couple more pipings, which is clearly what they're actually called. Uh, a little bit of wood. Oh, that is right. I forgot it crafts eight per one craft. Clearly, this is overkill on pipes. Did I seriously just get a pop-up while recording? Craving pizzas. Get three pizzas from $30 to live. Why do I have pop-ups? Google Chrome. Pizza Hut. <clears throat> Continuing onwards. Let's get this thing running. It won't be amazing. But at the very least, it should be enough for a test. In fact, we didn't even need these extra pipes. I could have just shoved the engines all around this one wooden one. It would have done the trick. But, sure. Let's get a little bit more power. In fact, ah, this lack of cobblestone. I should really just go mining. Just fill an inventory with cobblestone. It would really just do the trick. But, can we get uh, one more piece of cobble? Thank you. I will happily take a dozen. Maybe shouldn't have used all of the cobblestone there. But okay, technically they're all on. Only one of them has power. But give me a moment. I was racking my brain there for far, far too long when this can be solved way, way too simply. All right, if we just grab a little bit more transport pipe. And you may notice some new items on my hotbar. We have clay insertion pipes and a gravity feed transport pipe. Combining the two of those, this will be way too easy. 
So as long as we connect the engines by transport pipes, or by insertion pipes, then the logic that these pipes will follow is to always fill the engine if it needs to be filled, and only then will it try to actually pass the item onto the next pipe. So if we go four clay transport pipes, or most likely way more once we actually have a proper power system, and then at the end we will of course add one little loopy boy, use the rest of our pipes here, go gravity feed, shove a simple crate on top, which, uh, wait, <laughs> what am I doing? I have double jump. <laughs> there we go. And I know, it would be way more efficient to fill this with other items, but look at it. It's beautiful. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, sorry. One moment. Have to do this quickly. Do I have glass? Yes, I need gold. Thank you. Before this entire thing explodes. Are you still good? Oh, you are about to not be good. Okay. Uh, we need one more. Loopy boy. Oh! Okay, no items lost. We have our infinite loop of wood. All of our sterling engines are filled. In fact, let's just take this coal back. You are entirely wood based now. Deal with it. And just like with this system, should be an infinite storage of wood. My only question is whether items are heading back up actually into the 100%, definitely. That's exactly what's going on here. Is that a problem or a feature? It does stop the whole pipe system from overloading. There's a limited number that will be in the pipe at any time because some of it goes back. Yeah, no, I am happy with this. We have all four of our engines. Thank you, looking good. And a random cap. Wait, what happens if... I'm a- I'm gonna just watch this for a second. This might be that cow's last day on Minecraft Earth. Actually gonna have an effect? Okay, that is a relief. And also, if I'm perfectly honest, quite a disappointment. And I really expected four times the engines to make quite a big difference here. Unfortunately, no. Although, to just prove Mason wrong, this should also be fine. Maybe. No, 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 no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, here, here, here. In fact, just get rid of the chest entirely. It's not, it's not needed right now. Not just for a little bit of testing. Sorry, chest. There we go. Now we have an infinite loop system. And no items being thrown on the ground. Total success. Now let's put everything back how it was. Yeah. Now one thing did occur to me. This may be the slowest kill trap for a cow ever created. If there is lava at the bottom of this quarry, this cow is doomed. Alright, now that that slander has been dealt with, we have these four build suggestions that I think will be perfect for this early in the world. Well, except for Deviant Crafter's second suggestion of use the ores from the quarry for more quarries, exponential progress, but I'm taking his comment in a different direction. I could do that probably already given enough power and enough waiting. But if I set up auto crafting of quarries and auto smelting of all the ores that we get from the quarries, that could be a ridiculous system. As for the other ones, Slick Rick, build an actual house. Sure, I lament, I'll get it done. Cubal, using forestry to farm trees to make charcoal to power things and stuff. Probably the worst tree farm possible, but it will be done. And finally, Deviant Crafter's first message, Smelteries give clear glass instead of regular glass. Well, that's just going to be perfect to build a house now, isn't it? Let's get started. We are going to need a crazy amount of wood, glass, gravel, and clay in order to get the Tinker Smeltery and actually start building this house. Unfortunately, probably should have checked the time before I started this quest. 
Because now I'm a little bit stuck in this mess. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not... Not ideal. Definitely not <laughs> ideal. Although if you're just going to walk up and line up for me to smack you back off, I guess it could be worse. Okay, no, this is, this is just going to take too long. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just leave. Let them despawn and then come back. And I'll be back with you in a moment. Actually, do I have to skip ahead? No, no, they're probably despawned already, right? Other than, where is that even skeleton? Ah, he's, he's fine, he's fine. And no, I do believe they are still following me and have not... Do they despawn? I'm looking at the map and they are very much still... Uh, maybe if I just go... Ah, there we go, there we go, they finally disappeared. <laughs> so with this, we can build our Tinker Smeltery, use that Tinker Smeltery to get tons of glass, and then we can actually start building. Nice. Uh, you are still here, Pahama. Oh, you are all still here. Any chance I have a weapon back at base? <laughs> just to just to clear this out. That's that's a chance, right? I very rarely make them, but yeah, no, not really. Ah, uh, I don't even have inventory space anymore. Okay, there is all of our tinkers. Materials. We have a little bit of iron. Okay, we'll be fine. Have they still not de- No, they are actually still walking over here. That is some true dedication. But I think we all can aspire to. Now, if you just excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. There's, yeah, there's, there's so many more of you. At least I have an iron sword. Actually, could you? Creeper, if you could just, uh. Yeah, a little, little more. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you! <laughs> It's just efficient. <laughs> All right, sweet. Oh, there is one more thing I've definitely forgotten. In order to run a Tinker Smeltery, we are at the very least going to need a little bit of lava. I could make multiple trips, but why in the world would I do that? Four buckets. It'll do. Although, where is our mine? I don't... I dug straight down in this world, right? How do you... How do you lose a mine? All right, came up with a plan. I used journey map to find some above ground lava pools. But as long as we're lucky, we should be able to get a few buckets worth. So now that we're here, ah, uh, not exactly a lava pool, <laughs> more like a lava flow and it's nighttime. But well, maybe we'll get like two buckets. I would take that as a win. Please don't light myself on fire. Okay, ah, uh, can I make that? Yep. Ah, uh, can I make that? Okay, do I have any building materials? Have a little bit. Okay, okay. Just jump up to here. <laughs> oh, you are totally going to be one source block, aren't you? Any, any more? Oh, actually, maybe. Just, just go down a little so I don't die here. Oh. Hmm. Maybe we only need one. I'll... I'll cut back when we're back at base. Oh no. Now all I have to do is mad rush to the bed, sleep, and I can start building. I just need to not die and lose the world. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be... as quick as possible. Okay, jump out, sprint. Make use of double jumps if you can. Okay. Can I get... yep. There's still a lot of mobs already. <laughs> Losing World Zero to a essentially a one-shot may have made me a little bit paranoid, but I think that's probably a good thing. <laughs> Considering how most of my long-standing worlds are lost just by my own stupidity. Nothing else. Nothing else in the slightest. All right, zombies are on fire. Do we have anything dangerous like a creeper that won't die in the sunlight? Nah, we see Mo. Ah, uh, there's you. There is you. But apart from that, should be all good. Nice. So, let's get this Tinker Smeltery going. We're gonna need to build a whole bunch of kraut. This is what we use to cook basically everything. How am I missing items? Gravel, red, sand, clay. Ah, maybe have any of those items on me. Yeah, that would make sense. All right, just dump everything. We should be relatively safe. I'm gonna have to turn these into clay blocks, gravel, sand. Okay. 
Now, if you excuse me, just make ourselves 32 blocks of clay. This would turn into... Okay, I do want to keep some clay for other things, especially things like insertion pipes. They're gonna be necessary. So I don't want to use too much. Hello, whoever you are in the background. Yeah, two stacks would be a decent place to start. Now, if you could just not leave me alone, please. All right, that, nope, okay. It, ah, there's a sword, thank you. Ah, nice and safe, everything is fine. Now, I believe all this grout is gonna have to get cooked up in order for it to actually be used. But that shouldn't be too crazy. Oh, we also have a bunch of iron in these. Nice. Could even get more quarry power with this. Although, speaking of quarry power, ah. Uh, there is none. Yeah, that's a slight problem. But it's fixable. Well, smelted all of the seared brick. For some reason, I felt like I would get more than two stacks from my two stacks. Yeah, not how that works. And I'm a little bit worried we're not going to have anywhere near enough brick. But I also smelted up a bunch of charcoal too, so at least the quarry will be running while I'm actually building this thing. Although, it will not be running at full speed. Because I'm using insertion pipes that aren't random, it will fill the first two engines before even attempting to fill anything else. So, we're going to be running at quarter speed, but at least it'll be running at quarter speed for an incredibly long time. So I'm going to take that. Now, I believe I have everything for the Tinker Smeltery, but I could be terribly wrong. Let me check. So we are definitely going to need quite a few of these faucets, unfortunately, because we have to make the glass, the clear glass blocks in the smeltery one block at a time, which is incredibly not ideal. But I think if we go at about, let's start at six, which is already a lot of seared brick used, but okay. We also need a smeltery controller, which I believe is furnace seared brick. That gives us a seared furnace controller. I don't know how that's diff. It could definitely be different. Uh, let's let's not do this just in case. All right, we need a controller from the correct mod, please. Seared furnace controller, smeltery controller. Here we are. All right, just no furnace in the middle. We also need at least one tank. And we have a surplus of glass and a real problem with brick. So we'll go with the gauge. There we go. It just, it just uses less brick. That's all. Also, it looks better. Why is the best option the cheapest? I do not know. But okay, we got our gauge. We got our smeltery controller. We need a drain. Hopefully that's the correct word, and yup, one for each of these little faucets. Uh, okay, yep, we'll start with six. That is fine. And I believe the rest can just be entirely brick. We're probably only gonna get like a two-layer smeltery out of this. <laughs> but I'll take it. Oh, right! We're also gonna be building a house. The smeltery is not going to be inside, so it won't be a problem. But this area is going to be our massive house. So, <laughs> probably want the smeltery as far away from that as possible. Alright, let's see. We want a decently big 3x3 three three smeltery. So, there's our... <laughs> there's the bottom. We're already feeling pretty low. Uh, smeltery controller, drains... So we'll just shove the controller... Actually, do I have a pick? Awesome. I believe you can put... No, that... No, 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 never mind. The controller goes here. And I'll shove the drains on the outside. Uh, like so. Ignore the stone in the middle, of course. That is, that is not going to stick around. Otherwise, the entire smeltery, I believe, wouldn't work. It's just to ease in the building process. And am I? No, I'm not gonna be short one brick. No, I'm not gonna be short any bricks. Oh, I forgot about the tank. <clears throat> you can go here. And now you are going to not work. 
because... I have no idea. Oh, the, 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 the things in the middle. <laughs> it's gotta be you. Gotta be you. Now are we cool. Yes, we are. In fact, wait. What? What? No. The cobblestone. The cobblestone items went into its inventory. If I just throw items into the smeltery. Has this always been a thing? This would let me build craft pipe. I don't even have to connect it to the front. I can just throw all the items in the top like a shower of all. Okay, put that plan on the back burner. You will never complete your build ideas for the day if you get distracted completely by this. <laughs> Continuing onwards. In fact, can I just take this cobblestone out? Because I do not want it wasting our very precious single bucket of lava. Okay, if I just throw in a bunch of sand now, how bad is this smeltery? Because I know it's not good, it's just a question of how terrible. Alright, throw in all the sand, and then we need some kind of redstone pulse here to actually make the entire thing work. Alright, there are our faucets, and then we just stick the casting basins underneath that I never built. Right. And this is why we leave a little bit of clay left over. <laughs> very, very luckily. So, we'll smelt down these other two stacks of grout and definitely improve the height on the smeltery quite a little bit. Hello? Am I safe here? You know what, I, let, let's just assume no. Yeah. Anyway. So right now, all of that is smelting, and that's gonna take a very long time with just regular vanilla furnaces. But in the meantime, I can at least finish up the build by making these redstone clocks from Extra Utilities too. Uh, all I need is a little bit of redstone torch. I'm gonna need at least, well, six of these, otherwise it's not really gonna be running full speed. Uh, why am I short? Wait, what am I short on? Oh, simple redstone, okay. That's easily solved. All right, now all we have to do, it won't be perfectly efficient because, excuse me, I knew destroying all, all that land underneath my base was a bad idea. It is a constant mob spawner, <laughs> but all right. So this is gonna send out a redstone pulse every now and then. I believe it's like 10 times per second. I could be very wrong. But either way, this is gonna turn on the faucet and off the faucet periodically. So it will fill things completely automatically, but Having it just constantly pump things out would definitely be a vast improvement to the current design. All right, this will give us seared brick. Almost a stack? Yeah. All right, so with this, we'll have some casting basins. Exactly si Obviously planned and obviously scripted. <laughs> All right, now we go casting basins. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? Speed, yeah, let, let's just move the speedy loop a little bit. I, I'm pretty sure that that would have been fine. But better safe than pregnant. All right, and it, it takes roughly, what, five seconds to actually construct the glass itself? Okay, okay, let's just dump an entire stack in then. And we're also gonna have to shove hoppers underneath to actually pull out the glass, otherwise it won't continue melting. But overall, this'll work. Oh, right. Maybe have three more casting basins. Yeah, this is gonna take a long time. Now I know I've said it before, but now we have everything we need to get this properly running. So, we have 24 more seared bricks from the extra two stacks that we actually cooked up to let us get two extra levels on this, which is actually quite, quite a big difference. It means that we'll be actually smelting the sand quite literally three times as quickly. And also going through lava that quick as well. <laughs> but it's okay, we've got our one bucket and we are 40% of our way through it. But we have 19 blocks of glass. We only need maybe a hundred times <laughs> that. Perfect. 
All right, now I want to set this up properly. Just so that I'll hopefully never have to come back and actually improve this part of the system. The issue is... Oh, nice! Because I got rid of the dirt, this is so much easier. I was just planning ahead, clearly. Now, all we should have to do is throw down... I could use a chest, but I'd rather it last a lot longer. So, small storage crate. We'll just shove one of them here. Go... Hopper into it. Excuse me. Hopper into that hopper. Hopper into there. Nice. And that should already be working. Awesome. Let's do the same thing for the other side. And I don't know the rate at which we'll actually be getting this clear glass. But... I can still build the majority of the house without it. It just won't be nearly as cool. Yeah, still gonna try and get at least the template done. So. Hopper. Hopper. Hopper! Okay, sweet. Now how do we get back out of here? <laughs> Alright, this, this should do. This should do. Excuse me. Okay, good enough. <laughs> yeah, this is... This is working. I will... Oh dear. We're down to 0.3 buckets already. But we're getting clear glass, right? Completely clear glass. Awesome. I guess now we should at the very least get this house underway. So, I'm not going to cut here. We have our four stacks of, yep, over four stacks of dark oak. Uh, some of that should definitely be switched into just regular old planks. Please tell me we have a little bit more wood. Okay, we've got some extra planks at least. Maybe. Maybe it'll be enough. In fact, let's grab some glass too. We'll have, what, 20 pieces? Oh, 26, watch out. Okay, let me hit uh, F9, because we are using the more overlays mod. And I want a roughly chunk-sized house. Not exactly chunk-sized, because that would be 16 by 16. Every room wouldn't have a middle. It would drive me completely insane. Also, we'll switch to... I don't want wall mode. I really just want to build a pillar. Is there a pillar mode? <laughs> Actually, that, that's just a one by one wall. Uh, I assume that is still fine? <laughs> uh, but probably. Probably. Not going to question it either way. So here's the inside of the chunk. We want the actual walls to be outside so we have an actual 17 by 17 area to work with. So we'll move one more block away on two of the sides, then at least we'll have an odd, an odd hat. Well, either way, it's going to be odd, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, we definitely want our entire base to be slightly off the ground, just so I don't have to deal with all the mob spawning that I have gotten myself into. <laughs> There's only myself to blame. Alright, let's just say eight blocks off the ground. Yeah, sure, that'll do. Alright, so we want to be out this far. But in line this time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, effortless building is so damn nice. Okay. But on this side, we just want to be right on the edge here. And I assume I have done this correctly. Alright, eight blocks high. And then right here. Nope, wait. Right, one over, one over. <laughs> I do not want to figure out later that I've completely broken everything. So now we go up nine blocks because it's one block down. And this will be the basic foundation for our base anyway. So now let's just go... I'm so short on dark oak. Okay, yep, we we'll use regular old planks. Connect that to the side. Like... So? Oh my gosh, is replace mode on? Please tell me it's not. <laughs> that hasn't... Uh, I mean... Sure. That's... Fine. Not what I was going for, but... Why not? 
All right, hello, base. Uh, right click. Connect that over here. Oh god, wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't that be up this high? Did I goof? No, no, we are actually all good. I could not imagine even trying to build this by hand. This would absolutely be a time-lapse <laughs> episode. Just everything. Everything needs to be time-lapsed. Now, we actually want the main floor and walls to be milt- milt. Yep, milt. I want it to be built and also milt. ASAP. Alright, clear glass. Yeah, just to remind myself, because there's no way that we have enough of it. But hey, at, at, at the very least, to remind myself that that should be clear glass. <laughs> Done. The walls also should be clear glass. <laughs> now you see why I say we need an entire beach worth. And then we, we, what we want to do here is go one, two, three. Wall. Okay. One, two, three. Three, wall. Because this is going to be a base inside a base. The idea is that this whole section here is also going to have a glass wall. But this is where I'll be putting all of my buildcraft pipes. So that the entire time when I'm working on machines, there'll be items flying around through this gap between my outside wall of the base and the inside wall. Items going everywhere. It's gonna be epic. But, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of resources. Probably should have built, you know, a nice temporary house like a normal person would. But I strongly disagree that that should ever be done. <laughs> All right, I am going to cut ahead until most of this is done. Hopefully it'll be looking nice-ish. That's the best I can hope for. Okay, so this is all I could build with the materials I had, even after letting all of it smelt. We are completely out of lava. Everything has been used, but we have a functioning uh, house. Don't look, look, it even has a door and, and a staircase. This, this is great. And I can walk around the floor now, just avoid the giant pits, and I'll be able to put my machines against the wall and everything will be fine and this will work as a functioning house for the rest of the season. <laughs> Some improvements will be done, I promise, but this is good enough. <laughs> well, Slick, I hope you're proud of my handiwork. I will <laughs> clearly work on it more as the series progresses. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you are enjoying this content, please do like, comment, subscribe. It does help. If you want to support this series directly, there is a Patreon link down below. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>